YouTube, it's your guy, not your average trucker, coming to you on a uh, Friday, what the hell is today, like October 4th, I believe, um, down here in the Charlotte area, delivering a load, I just had a, a couple thoughts, man, I'm just curious how people feel, like how important their CDL is to them, and how, you know, how people feel on the whole you know, automatic versus manual scenario. Because I remember when I first, um, you know, the first two trucks I ever bought were automatics. And this was back when, I mean, they were like the first, first or uh, maybe second generation of automatics back then. And, you know, everybody loves automatics because, you know, they're easy to drive. Obviously, they're better on fuel. However, when they have issues, at least from my experience, a lot of these mechanics, you know, they don't have experience as far as fixing them. So they literally get to throwing parts at them. I say that to say recently I was, you know, in the process of hiring another driver. Y'all got to forgive me if the video's shaky. I'm getting unloaded at the moment. But I was in the process of hiring another driver. And, you know, I get all these applications talking to these people you know that's one thing that annoys me about the whole you know owning a fleet and being you know having to interview people and all that because it's just mundane man it's a lot of the same old same old you're hitting the same conversation oh i'm the greatest driver in the world i'm the greatest most reliable employee in the world blah 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 like i get so tired of just interviewing people then you get to the road test portion mind you I'm not talking to anybody with less than two years experience, right? So all these people that I'm talking to have multiple years experience driving, blah, blah, blah. It just so turns out that the other day I did eight, listen, man, eight road tests. <laughs> eight. All these people have multiple years of experience. I've smartened up to where... I don't waste my time or my money running your background or running your MVR or sending you for drug testing and I, any of that before I get you a road test. So with me, it's like I phone screen you. Then I, you know, I invite you down to my office, interview you there, and I immediately get you a road test. Like before I go any further, right? So I had eight people the other day all fail a freaking road test because all eight of these people. I think the least experienced guy had three years. Or well, allegedly, right? Like I said, I haven't, uh, I hadn't at that point called their references of verified employment, none of that. But allegedly, the least, most least experienced guy had three years, right? Problem is, all of these dudes are coming, like the previous company that they were with had them in automatics. And this particular truck that I had them driving, matter of fact, is the one I'm sitting in, freaking. Volvo 10 speed this year just put a clutch and you know transmission in this truck in 2019 so it's nothing wrong with the shifting nothing wrong with any of that however so many of the eight I had eight guys waste my time could not freaking drive a freaking 10 speed and it was just boggling my mind yes I get it man it's a new day and age like I said I remember when I first started out and I bought automatics, people thought I was crazy. And the only reason I started buying more actual manuals is because, like I say, whenever there was an issue with the freaking automatic, mechanics was throwing parts at it, man, like XY shifters. Oh, they tell you it's the harness. Oh, they tell you they need to reprogram the computer. Like, it was so many freaking issues um with regard to the transmission uh with the automatics at that time that i was like yo maybe it's a lot simpler to just buy manuals then i didn't have manuals with the transmission go out and i'm spending the same money that i was spending on automatic so that's another story for another day but it was so hilarious to me i mean i had guys because mind you when i get your road test we not bob telling i got it connected to a 53 drive van with something in it like uh that particular day when I was out giving the road test, I had the guy in a freaking, um, the trailer had four um, forklifts in them. Each forklift 
This is about 11,000 pounds. So that trailer had 44,000 pounds in it, right? And I let these people know, look, man, this, this trailer's loaded. What's this guy doing? Freaking uh, yard dog. Like, look, homie, this, this trailer's loaded. So, you know, we going to... This is a real simulation. Like, you know, you drive this like you, you know, you work it. You out, you about to deliver a load or whatever. So I had multiple guys start off, you know, first gear, can't get the second. So, you know, I don't have no patience because, you know, I'm trying to hire you. And like I say, in this particular truck, this is the truck that we'll be driving. And it's a truck that I just put a transmission in. So, I, you know, I ain't got time to be listening to nobody grind my gears. You understand? So, I got dudes starting off in first. Can't get to second. I pull the brakes. Look, man. Here's the gear pattern. You got, you know, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Flip the switch. Six, seven, eight. Blah, blah, blah. I'm making sure, you know what I'm saying? I'm giving you a chance. Start off. He can't do it. All right, man. Nice meeting you. Peace out. Next guy. He goes, he gets to fourth, fifth gear, and he's trying, he can't get to six. He can't figure it out. Mind you, he hasn't flipped the switch up. So he's like, arr, arr. I'm like, all right, man, stop. And I go over the gear pattern with him. Look, man, this is what it is. All right, yeah, 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 man. Oh, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. We end up at a stop sign. I'm telling him to bust a right to get onto this main road. Mind you, it's a loaded trailer. It's live action. It's like three in the afternoon. It's, you know, it's cars out here. This dude pulls out, and it's a little incline. He can't get it in gear, dog. <laughs> he about to stall out in the middle of the street. I got to pull the brakes, switch seats. This went on all day Monday. Like, all day. I had eight guys. All of these guys, multiple years experience. Some of these guys are older than me, claim they've been driving. You know, men lie, you know, women lie, numbers lie. All, you know, liars happen. My thing is this. You care so much to get your freaking CDL. It's just like you meet accountants out here, nurses, lawyers, doctors. They have what's called continual education. Meaning just because you've become a lawyer, just because you've become a nurse, doesn't mean that your education stops. You're required to have a certain amount of education continuously every year to keep up with your craft. So just because you get this CDL and you get hired by a company that has all automatics, what if that company goes belly up? What if you get fired? What if one day you decide to buy your own truck? I mean, the possibilities are endless. Are you really going to limit yourself by not keeping up with your craft? Like, even when I wasn't driving, when I was just owning trucks, letting people drive for me, I still on random weekends would get in a truck and just drive around Charlotte just so I can make sure I still got it because, you know, anything can happen. I can have a driver call out. I can have a driver get murdered. I mean, anything can happen, and I might need to jump in that truck and drive for myself like I am right now. And it's like I couldn't imagine owning some 10 speeds and not knowing how to drive them. You understand? And that's the equivalent of you getting your CDL. Some people fresh out of CDL school is going on with some of these Swift or whatever, and they throw you in an automatic, and that's not really for your benefit, man. It's like, how important is your craft to you? Because it comes a situation where you can run into a guy like me that's trying to get you a job. I guarantee I'm paying you more than these freaking OTR companies. The, the experience of working for me will be a lot better, but you can't drive a 10 speed. Then I have one guy that's like, hey, man, well, can you just uh, reteach me? It's like, it's one thing if I meet you and I take a liking to you, hey, maybe I would spend a couple hours with you, giving you like a refresher. But you just some dude and I got literally a stack, a stack of freaking applications. Well, I'm going to waste my time retraining you when I can just hire somebody that know how to get the job done. But I just find it. Listen, man, all you new CDL guys, or, you know, you didn't even have to be a new CDL guy. All you guys that's out here in automatics that ain't been in a 10 speed in a while, you might want to just jump in a 10 speed. It's not like I'm telling you to 
remember everything like you know jumping at 10 speed jumping at 13 jumping this jumping that but you might want to make sure that your skills are up to par because you never know you could go to work tomorrow get fired and all the other companies that's willing to hire you are all in manuals what you gonna do man like I say, I own both. So I know the pros and the cons of both to owning them. There's a huge difference in owning them versus you trying to get a job. You're going to limit yourself if all you doing is yo automatic only and just assuming that every company out here has upgraded to all automatics. Because there's, you know, is is pros and cons to owning both. But it's your guy, not your average trucker, man. I just thought I'd vent. I just couldn't imagine... As long as I've been in business, I never had a day where every single person failed. Like, every single person. Like, it won't a diamond in the rough, one dude. Like, I didn't have nobody that almost had it. You know what I mean? Like, mind-boggling, man. You know, and most of them claim to only have been out of a freaking 10-speed for a few months. But I'll tell you this. It's definitely not like riding a bike. Like, if you don't know how to do it, you ain't got it, yo. But it's your guy, not your average trucker, man. Just thought I'd throw this quick vent out here, man, in reference to the fact of how important it is to continue the education with your CDL, man. Keep your skills sharp, yo. Keep your skills sharp, because you definitely going to limit yourself if you just, when you out here applying for a job or whatever you got going on, you just only looking for uh, automatic carriers. But like I say, hit me up, man. Trucker, not your average Gmail. Trucker, not your average Instagram. It's early in the morning, man, so I apologize if I'm a little lethargic, but it is what it is. Y'all be easy.